Welcome back to the channel, people. A quick video of uh, a gentleman rang up and uh, said that this uh, Pelter headset's not working. Um, these are expensive. Um, I thought probably referring to a couple of hundred quid, but these are in the region of 800 to 1,000 pound. Anyway, the repair has already been done, but I am going to walk you through the thought process of how I've come to it, come to the completion of the repair. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's go into the microscope view. All right. Let's... Okay, so after poking around the entire circuit, the hardest part was to take the conformal coating. Uh, but anyway, as I, after sort of poking around the entire circuit, as I repeat, okay, um, what I did find is a short on this component here, okay, this leg, and the marking is LBTG. So let's look at the uh, website, what this component is, and we will also look at the uh, data uh, sheet. So on the website, this is the component, what we're looking for. OK, and it's a 3.3. .3. There is a 3 volt and a 5 volt, I think it is, and 3.3. .3. So refer. let's go on to the, uh, yeah, the 5 volt. Sorry. So this is the 3 volt, 3.3, .3, and then you've got a 5 volt. OK, so this is just a 400 milliamp micropower synchronous deep step up DC to DC converter. All right, so let's look at the layout of that. So I hate where is the hand? There is the hand. This is the package. So because there's no dot here and dot here, um, the center part is ground, obviously, but this is V in, V out. And there's no way of me testing the voltage because I haven't got anything else to plug this into to test it. So my guess is that the uh, V out was shorted to ground. So let's sort of go under the microscope and let's see if I can under the microscope. All right, so red probe on the uh, ground and the short is removed, obviously, because the multimeter won't beep continuously. As you can see, so it's giving me 0 0.589 on the diode mode. OK, so what was happening is that the, the, there was beep on this capacitor and beep on this. When I say beep is continuity, which it shouldn't be because one side of it is ground and one side isn't. So this would be the V out and this would be the V in. OK, sadly, there isn't any marker on this to indicate which is which, but I'm presuming that this is what the actual uh, layout is going to be. So the original component, let's move these away and that's sorted, thankfully. Everything else on the circuit seems to be fine. Um, so let's jump right on this. This is the shorted component what I took off and let's sort of get this looked at a little bit let's all right so um if i can draw, zoom in a little bit more before it starts becoming distorted it's shocking how small these packages are you know when you look i'm going to go a bit closer than that so let's but then i'm going to be struggling to have the uh robot they can Multimeter probe, right? Okay, so you can just about read the text on that. LBTG. All right. So let's grab the multimeter and you should hear a continuity. If you can see this, then you can see it. If not, I'm sorry. Let's uh, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, okay. And let's sort of probe around these two pins because those are the two pins that were shorted to ground. There you go. 
so tiny that he's extremely hard to sort of keep it in place. Probably need some sort of a blue tack or something like that to carry out proper measurements on this. So again, if I can do it, there you go. All right, now on a good working component, let's grab one off the uh, uh, package. All right, so they come in a pack of five or tens. No, I hate these pair of tweezers. They're just they're just useless, absolute utter useless. I don't know why I keep stuff like that around. This is the new one, so let's turn the orientation around to the correct orientation. And is it gonna mess me around? That is same orientation as the other one. I'll just give it a nice little press so it sits nice and flat with the adhesive tape. And as you can see that the marking is exactly the same. It's LBTG. And I shall, whichever way I do it, matter the probe, let's sort of, we should get a decent reading. And that is a 0 0.615 uh, volts on the diode mode. Okay, so uh, I've put the ground ground uh, probe, the red probe, on the center pin, and the ground pin on the outer pin here. That and that gives me a nice reading, and that's what it should be. So. This was the actual fault with the component, with, with the head, headset, and um, you know I can I hope that I'm, I've made somebody happy, and uh, you know it, it's we, we live in a disposable society, so anything that can be fixed is 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 a win-win situation. So I'm going to pick this and put this back in this little uh, packaging. Yep. So like I said, um, you know we wanted to sort of minimise waste, e, e, you know e we we waste wastage by fixing things so there we have it hope this customer is going to be really happy i'm going to give him the good news uh, i haven't spoken to him yet but i'll give him the good news um, as soon as uh, the other thing to remember is that once the unit has been put back he did say that he works on um, he's got this special conformal coating of of such um, come on let's sort of uh, put this okay lock that in and it's a very thick layer of conformal coating that what he will have to apply because i did raise some concerns about i don't have anything as such as that other than just a very basic thin layer of com uh, conformal coating this was very thick very very thick so let's zoom out and show you what i'm referring to okay so this bit that is at least a millimeter thick conformal coating and the reason there is a reason why this they, they've put this type of conformal coating you know and and that is to to prevent this components from um coming off the pcb obviously it's water to try and make it water and moisture resistant but equally to 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 have you know have that little you know extra you know rigid um protection so that the 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 the, the components are going, not getting knocked off as the headset gets dropped or, or, or you know get going through a rough use so he did say to me that uh, he does have stuff like that which uh, which he can apply back on fantastic so I'm quite happy uh, so yeah it's a it's a win-win situation at the moment really really happy that uh, the headphone has been sorted um, you know and um, this will get dispatched a uh, good early early next week sometime this is just the the captain tape is just a temporary measure i will sort of just so that that accidentally plugs it in and it shorts the components with with all these connections here hence the reason why i put this this uh, this uh, captain tape on but i will be making him aware of that 
uh, when I speak to him over the phone. Anyway, guys, have a great uh, Easter Friday, um, and uh, I shall speak to you uh, pretty soon. Peace.